Hello, so I just did this question. I've done it before, um, but I forgot it about it. So the way I did this one was, let me first explain the problem. You have a bunch of, you have a matrix and you want to figure out if I have the ability to change every, to flip every column, to flip one column at a time, I guess. How many rows can I get equal to each other? Now the answer to this would, if you notice, the only if rows are equal to each other or the opposite of each other, then they can be made equal to each other, which makes sense. These two are neither equal to each other or opposite of each other. So the answer here would be one just for a single row. And here the answer would be two because they're equal to each other. I mean, they're opposite of each other. Then you have this one here. They would be, uh, the answer here would be two still because these two are opposite of each other. So brute force approach, we could go through each row and compare um, the n squared approach, compare each row to every other row. And that would be, and just get the maximum number uh, of, for a row, how many would that be equal to? And then get the maximum out of all of those, and that will be the answer. So for, for example, for this one, I would compare it with these two. All right, so that would be just one for a single row, the answer. Now I get this one, compare it to this one, that would be two. And that's the highest answer so far, so I return that. That would be, n squared, but then for each, but to check two rows together, that's all of n as well, all of n as well, so that's n cubed. Uh, we can improve on this if we use a map. So we can use an unordered map if we have a hash for a vector uh, defined, a hashing function, but because it's extra work to add in a hasher, um, a map is fine because a map can take in vectors as keys and it supports that. And then we just count the frequencies and do a linear loop through this, all the rows. And if you find a particular row in the map, then we add to an answer but a a row could have two different versions of it so let's make sure that they all are the same version before you put, add it into the map or compare it with the map now the time complexity of this would be well we're going through each row so that'll be n times and then we're going through the map to check whether um, that row exists in the map to check whether a row exists in the map since a map to the lookup time is log n but to compare each vector is n so that's n log n n times log n so that's going to be n, n squared, n squared times log n. If we use an unordered map and define a hashing function, then we can get it down to n squared, but this is good enough. So we define a map of vectors uh, 
equal n and we go through each of the vectors in the matrix. So let's call this a row. Let's uh, define a vector v as the one that that is equal to row, but if the row starts with a zero, now uh, we want to flip it so that they all, we want to make sure all the rows that we compare starts with a one. This way we can make sure all the rows that we compare are equal to each other and not like the opposite of each other, if that's the case. So, so if the, if row zero is, if row zero then make v equal to row. In fact, it might be more efficient. Okay, we'll, we'll do that later. Else for um, int i is equal to zero. No, less, uh, yeah, i less than, should be row.size, plus plus i. Let's do v to push back. Um, so we want to flip every item in the row. We could use a, a full range loop actually. So for item in the row, let's do push back the opposite of it. And we can get the opposite by doing i, x, or with one. Then we also want to keep track of an answer. So like int answers equal to one, I guess, initially, or zero. Then we do answer is equal to max of the answer. And whatever um, the value of this is. So whatever the frequency of the map is. But we also want to increment that before we do that. We're going to increment it because um, we found a new match. Oh, we found, we've, we've seen this row and increment that. Then we return the answer. Okay, it seems to work. All right, so that's uh, n squared log n. I've done this many times. Okay, one, one, eight. Yeah, it's okay. 